Welcome to another episode of Replay, everyone. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. I got Tim Terry here. He's going to be playing Darkwing Duck for us. Hey. Kyle Hilliard. Hey, how's it going? Great. How are you, Kyle? I'm doing all right. And then we have a very special guest. We have James Adomian, comedian. You Hello. might know him from Comedy Bang Bang. Uh, you have a CD out, Low Hanging Fruit. Yes, I do. Thanks for joining us today. Of course. You, you picked out this game. Yeah, I was a huge super fan of Darkwing Duck, the cartoon, and then I used to play this game. All right. Well, when, cool. Back when Darkwing Duck was uh, being talked about all over. <laughs> well, we're gonna bring that back and now. Tim, you I haven't been in this office enough. A lot of these duck-based NES games. <laughs> it was Darkwing, just mostly duck-based ba- uh, duck games, yeah. What was the one with Scrooge McDuck? Uh, DuckTales? That one's great. Uh, Quackshot on um, the Genesis. Genesis was especially good. Yeah. Um, All right, do, so we have some plot. Do we absorb this plot? I don't know if... <laughs> what do you think that's an acronym for? Do you recall for? a lot of the, the plot? The Fiendish Organization for World Larceny. <laughs> <laughs> that was their... That was their, uh, like, inspector in James Bond. Gotcha. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you just recall that? Oh, no, I know Darkwing Duck backwards and forwards. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he, writes, okay. he writes the fan fiction. That's, that's, that's <laughs> running Jake that Hooter. Oh. Jake Gander Hoover, something like that's that. That's really good. And Launchpad, of course. Launchpad McQuack! It was a just hilarious name. It was on his own. <laughs> I always... So, is Gizmo Duck... He's the guy that... Gizmo Duck crossed over from... Uh, the, Dar- Darkwing Duck's in the same universe as DuckTales. So right. Launchpad and Gizmo Duck crossed over into Darkwing Duck. Okay. It's in a different city from DuckTales, but oh, okay. the same universe. Kind of like Gotham to uh, Metropolis. Exactly. Okay. Interesting. Now, now, Gizmo had like an alter ego, right? Was he the. Fenton Crackshell. Okay. That's how it worked out. All right. Gizmo Duck! Was that a banana? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess Yeah, you don't want to hit those. Yeah, don't hit the bananas. I don't know. I guess ducks don't eat fruit. <laughs> ah, Is there an arbitrary... Oh, there's moles popping up. <laughs> yeah, Out of the concrete. I, I guess wonder I... if that means we have uh, Moliarty as the boss of this level. Oh, oh very nice. So is this is this Duckburg or this? This is, is probably Saint Canard. That's the uh, <laughs> Saint Canard class, is man. the home of Darkwing Duck. Do you run like a Wikipedia on this? Or <laughs> no, like I was duck... like I knew everything. I watched all of the episodes and read the comic books and stuff. They actually okay. came out with um, a reboot of Darkwing Duck comics, but it was like uh, they did a really fun thing where it, it was in the last year and they just made it twenty years in the future. Oh, that's cool. Was it like gritty, gritty reboot situation, or was kind of dark? Playful about it, but (laughs) the playful gritty reboot. Exactly. (laughs) He wasn't like a quackaholic or something like that. (laughs) That was really Uh, dumb. No, it was kind of like it was kind of like it was kind of like a utopian dystopian future of Saint Canard, where there was no more crime because there's one criminal organization that runs everything. Okay. (laughs) So they kind of keep it in order. Okay. Yeah. So James, you're on the road a lot. Uh, do you still get time to find time to play games these days? I almost never do. I play uh, arcade games sometimes. If I see a Pac-Man or a Donkey Kong, I'll play those. But I really, uh, no, I, know, I don't. You know, one thing, the road is horrible about giving you game time. Right, right. I, I kind of fell out of gaming after the, the more complex they are, the more likely my character is to uh, be wa- running up against a wall. You like the two buttons of the down. NES? What's that? The two buttons of the NES controller. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a two button guy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Those watch guys... out for the turtle that wasn't part of the cartoon canon. He's not canon. I'm just gonna avoid him. Oh god, I don't like these guys. Yeah, they're really. I'm not a big fan at all. Oh, oh what is that? Oh, it's kind of like the Simpsons arcade. Okay. And the balloon just waits oh, for you. Oh. Right. But I'm I'm good. Nice mistake there. I guess maybe not. Oh, okay. Jeez. So this what are is... these power-ups? What was that? Just life, I guess, probably? Yeah, I really have no idea. Um, <laughs> James? The uh, Duckling Duck? Well, I don't uh, know. I, yeah, I imagine there's some things they made for the game. <laughs> <laughs> Those are extra lives up there. Those have to be extra Can lives. Can he, like, wall jump or something? Are they just um, like sleeping Darkwing Duck clones or something? Yeah, little puppets. He's very vain. The character oh, okay. is written with an extreme vanity. What is going on with that enemy? He's like Iron Man. That is uh, uh, I'm done. one of the Eggmen. And I guess that probably means Steelbeak is the boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guess. Wow! Steelbeak is the... I'm guessing! It might be him or Moli, more Moliarty, but... Steelbeak was the, uh... He was the, um... Kind of James Bond, uh... 
fill in in Darkwing Duck. All right. One of the reasons we're excited to have you, James, is because, like I was telling you earlier, you did a bunch of uh, Transformers jokes last time I saw you do comedy, oh, yeah. but, but you need to throw some Darkwing Duck stuff in there, man. Then, you know, then I would have invited you could. for that reason. Maybe people would... People would remember Darkwing Duck. I am always, I'm always like sort of testing the limits of what people <laughs> will consider common knowledge. Look, there's the Twin Towers behind oh, yeah. that there. I didn't know briefly, there was a very World Trade Center in really? the universe. <laughs> Let's try a new level. What were some of the it's other a shows? Conspiracy. Uh, Darkwing Duck was there. The towers were in the background. Because he was the he was the mayor, right? Jesse Jesse Ventura was the mayor, the right? The mayor of Saint Canard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Liquidator. This is a cool level. The liquidator isn't the liquidator was an ad executive who was like who was like an ad ad man pitch man who was like make it bubbly fresh and then he falls into like a vat of chemicals and he's liquid. So. Oh, so like a, he's got like a Joker he's thing going evil, on a little bit. He's an evil ad executive. <laughs> that sounds kind of awesome. Yeah. Gosh, the, the show like I watched some, uh, some. It was really awesome and creative show. I watched some Ducktales recently, like. That show has aged really well, and it was really like clever. There's like an episode where um, Scrooge he like loses his mem his memory and ends up like with amnesia and th wakes up and thinks he's one of his own employees and like discovers his own CD like work like how he treats workers and it's it was like I watched this as a kid. Did I learn something from this <laughs> about you know? Yeah, fair they treatment? were not. I mean, you could probably have better life lessons if you read books, but sometimes <laughs> the cartoons aren't that bad. No, 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 yeah. I, but you got debatable. me, like, wanting to go back to this show because you've retained all this this fiction. The show is good, and actually, um, I don't know if this is the case with all the shows, but I guess it usually is where there's, there's, there's heroic nerds who have cataloged the better episodes versus right. the worst ones. I seem to remember the... the uh, Darkwing Duck was weird. It had a Saturday morning run on ABC at the same time it had a syndicated run. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I think the Saturday morning network episodes were better generally. Oh, interesting. Oh, strange. The syndicated ones. So there were like two different groups of uh, animators like working I on believe, two different yeah, seasons. Yeah, it was a better animation quality. Wow. On ABC. The Sonic series had something like that going on too. Where oh, this reminds me. This is a total Capcom thing. So in uh, the lights th on, lights off. I think it's Heat Man's <laughs> level, or is it Fireman from Mega Man One? Yeah, there's like these these fire enemies. Every time you'd kill them, the lights would go out. So they, and they also going back to Mega Man. Um, the way all these worlds are structured is really similar. Where you kind of go through these side-scrolling parts for a while, and then you like shift. Oh God. You'll, you'll sh all right. You'll shift like <laughs> vertically. Don't worry, you've blundered your way through it, like Darkwing Duck often did. Yes. Oh god. <laughs> but it's the whole like sub design of the game is that you can you can uh, get through by accident. Uh, another like Capcom thing going on here is that like all the Mega Man games let you choose which stage you want to start off on, and uh, you can do the same thing here. And you got a little Sniper Joe action here too. Yeah. So, did you play any Mega Man games? Um, no, I, I never got into Mega Man. I, uh, I, I didn't have a lot of, I didn't have a large library of games. I played this because I was obsessed with Darkwing Duck, so Yeah. I imagine this was probably borrowing a lot from Mega Man based on what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think you have to hit him before, here, when he opens his cape to throw it at you. Also, not to keep going on about this, but I think you can only shoot three things yeah, at a time. Yeah, first of three. Which is a Mega Man thing. Can I duck that? No. Huh. Duck it. Hmm. Oh boy, I wasn't even going for that. <laughs> boy, can you? Alright, there we go. Get some health back. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am the terror that flaps in the night. <laughs> Voiced by the great Jim Cummings. That's right. Voice over legend. Yeah, what I... other shows were there back then? There was Rescue Rangers, Tailspin. Uh, yes. The Disney Afternoon, in the order that they came out, was... Gummy Bears, DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, Dark Tailspin, then Darkwing Duck, then Goof Troop, and then I kind of lose track. <laughs> and then I grew up. <laughs> Did you really, though? <laughs> no. Um, Gummy Bears, my friends had really, like, they loved Gummy Bears, but I never got into it. I didn't understand what the appeal was okay, whatsoever. Silly. Yeah. I talk about gummy bears sometimes in the same bit that I do uh, the Transformers thing, the gay villains bit that I do about how so many of the villains in cartoons are unnecessarily gay stereotypes. 
like, bring me those cami bears. <laughs> <laughs> I want them for the little gummy berry juice. <laughs> I always thought that, you know, Soundwave and Megatron probably should have come to terms with... Well, that's the thing, yeah. The, all the Decepticons and Transformers are gay. And the all <laughs> and all the good guy robots are straight. <laughs> the way their voices are portrayed. Oh, yeah, definitely. Starscream has probably... I got to make a saving me, little <laughs> I just the good guys are like, let's go play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> and be American. American robots. Um, yeah, I just recently like got super into the Transformers series, like, because there's some like solid current generation games, but they pay tribute to those old, old Transformer G1. cartoons. Yeah. Yep. So I just burned through the first two seasons of the first Transformers series and uh, watched the terribly like traumatizing movie uh, where everyone dies. And there's one profanity. Yeah, that's right. One really out of place profanity. Whoa. I bet. Oh, there is. He says "damn" or something. Yeah, he's, Open, damn it. He 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 says uh he says the s word. He says really. He says sh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. He does. It was. It was scandal. It's, it's jarring, is it? Tipper you know? Gore was outraged. <laughs> Um, so how are the controls here, Tim? How it feels feel? it feels just fine. I I only blame myself when I screw up. Um. There's some some issues like uh, how the bad guys reappear after you've killed yeah, them. Yeah, that's 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 kind of sucks. But what are you gonna do? Um, is that a normal? Has that happened in other games? Yeah, definitely. Like Ninja, era, yeah. Ninja Gaiden. I know that was a big problem. Like, is that the, just a laziness in programming it or something, or is that intended to be more difficult? Man, that's a good question. Probably, I would guess the latter, probably. Or at least that's what they said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We intended. We gotta have. It. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> They're all from like the Bronx or something. Like <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Capcom's got you taken care of. <laughs> Uncle Let's see Capcom. if you can get to a boss here, Tim, or at least oh, the don't, end of a so level. Yeah, who's the boss of this stage? I'm James. suspecting that it's Megavolt. I was thinking uh, maybe which is a really well written oh, villain. He was I was my thinking maybe favorite. upside down, rat, right? right? Yeah, They're, and they, they have such great writing for it, where they're like, "That's evil." Like, he goes, "Megavolt is afraid of me. I sent him to the electric chair twice." We, they sent him. To, they talk about. The electric Capital chair. punishment? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, game, this show is actually pretty progressive then, I guess. Progressive or horribly regressive, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right. He is... Most most superheroes are fascist, if you think about them long enough. I'm doing what the law won't let me do. But we love it. Oh, I hate these guys. Yeah. Yeah, these were... Ass these are... Ass They're yes. not even in the... Cartoon. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gave me a little health though, so I guess we're good. What are those I things? Don't know. HG. Is there like a inventory or oh, you have what? Special oh, yeah. powers. Oh, okay. All weapons. I'm not gonna say that's another Mega Man thing, but it totally is. And you can't. Nice. You, you've tried jumping over those guys, right? I mean, that's. I've tried jumping over most guys so far. <laughs> um, I'm feeling good about this run here, Tim. Thanks. Whoa. We'll see, Whoa, we'll see how it shakes out. No. Those are evil slugs. Oh, nice. Oh, here's all yeah, my Is this elf. music from the show, or is this just game no, music? No, they made this up. I heard at the at the top of it, they have the Darkwing Duck theme song. Yeah, they'd always, like... Capcom is also known for having, like, in incredible game music. Um, but, uh, they, you know, they'd always get, like, the main theme. And some games were so kind of... I don't know. Cheaply put together, that the entire game will just be the main theme over and over again, sort of looping. Hey! hey. There we go. Oh, a door. Oh, you should have got the health. Oh, okay, it's here a we Jester go. Dude. This is. Oh, it's um Quacker Jack. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> it's okay. it's playtime. <laughs> <laughs> he was the evil toy maker, and I guess you're the Joker parody. Oh yeah, good call. Oh, he's oh, so who's the banana guy, guy throwing the bananas? Yeah, Mr. Banana Brain. Mr. Banana oh, Grabber. Of course. Okay. So you got Were there other sentient fruit in this uh, in this universe? Uh, there was Dr. Bushroot, who is a sentient, who is who was a master of plants. <laughs> <laughs> so was what? every episode pretty much against like a villain? Was that kind of the arc? Yeah, they had for? some really great villains, and they they wrote them as an homage to that kind of cartoony, hilarious Batman villain. Right. And. Um, Quackerjack. There were a couple of different sort of writing universes, I guess. There was one that was more foul, the Phoenix Organization for World Larceny. 
and that was kind of more like James Bond type villains. And there's these guys who are more Batman villains, and that's the, uh, they were the Fearsome Five, and it was Quacker Jack, Megavolt, Bushroot, and, uh, well, somebody's gonna get angry at me. Oh, Liquidator! <laughs> and they were, they were, the leader was Negaduck. The evil oh. Darkwing Duck. Was it, it was Mega or ne Nega Duck? Mega, okay. Yeah. Alright, I guess. He was just the evil version of Darkwing Duck. A negative Duck. duck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, man, this guy's a jerk. I'm not a huge fan. All right. <laughs> oh, ooh. oh, jeez. Oh, I'm getting sloppy. Oh, all those bananas just over and over again. I have one more shot at this, I think. Seems like his sidekick's doing all the work here, and he's just exercising or something. <laughs> okay, gotta be more, more careful. Oh god. Ooh. All right. No pressure. Yeah, banana brain wasn't there. You'd just be kind of following him around. Oh god! All right, yeah. No, yeah, you got to pay attention to both axes. That's kind of cool. It's, it's tricky, actually. Oh, I'm right on top. Yeah, it was not an easy game, and I used to yell at it. But you said you've beaten it, child. though. I did beat it a couple times, maybe once. I can't remember. But it was rewarding enough. Could have used a <laughs> boss health meter. Yeah, my favorite of these was, oh. was Ducktales, and there was two of those. All right, oh. Tim. I'll, it was a good look at that, I yeah, think. Yeah, I'll get revenge on this game at some point. Thanks for all the duck tail or the, yeah, the, the dark duck knowledge. Right, extensive Jeez. dark duck knowledge. I did yeah. not come into this expecting that. <laughs> I am more <laughs> impressed. That was awesome. Uh, let's move on to our roulette, guys. All right, this is our roulette game, and weird enough, James took off, and we have another special guest here. Jesse Ventura. What makes you think I'm a special guest? <laughs> well, you were a governor of Minnesota. I were, I were a governor. Maybe I am a governor. <laughs> I'm surprised that uh, we you... haven't had you on before. I mean, you, you live right up the street, you know? I have a compound, if that's what you're getting at. I spend most of my time in Mexico. But I'm here because I, I wanted to expose what's really happening with the Predator. Yes, yeah, so you were in this film. As I was, a, yeah, I was in the film. I consulted on this console. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I was down there in Guatemala. <laughs> I was hunting predators <laughs> with the governor Schwarzenegger, and there was a documentary film. And then what happened was we lost control. <laughs> we lost control of what we were doing, and they packaged it as a Hollywood blockbuster. <laughs> So that's why the special effects were so fantastic. I didn't get my chest blown out. <laughs> I fractured a hip bone. But I didn't, there was no lethal injury. That was a special effect. So you, you survived the predator attack. As yep. you were saying, an actual attack yep. from a predator. I survived predator and I used the same tactics to survive Norb Coleman. <laughs> did you, did you have a set amount of lives at all on the set or were you working with, I mean, would that have counted no, as a life? Started, I started stage one, four lives, just like you're doing now. Okay. Now this is, but I'm not, I'm trying to figure out whose likeness this is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so is that you or is that? Well, that's Arnold. I'm the Luigi character. <laughs> But if there's a if there's a B player, it's me. No, yep. I'm I'm forgetting the scene in the documentary where there was a sentient rock. Uh, <laughs> you think that's a rock, or maybe it's a message from the Anunnaki? I, I'm piecing it together after the fact. I didn't know. I was on the ground. I didn't have the intelligence. So I hadn't read the documents. I've seen the documents now. So, Have you examined the documents? I haven't. They were mostly redacted, so I didn't really... The documents were redacted, and the ridiculous documents were redacted <laughs> on top. Now, can you t explain to me a little bit about the choreography training? You should see the pterodactyl redacted documents. <laughs> That's I didn't... something they don't want you to know about. Was that scene deleted from the documentary? <laughs> because I'm having problems with... with uh... Can you explain a little bit of the choreography that was in the documentary that made it through to this game? Because I'm having problems actually uh, ducking and, and That's hitting Manuel in any way. Manuel Noriega down there. Is he a stuntman or something? Or is that a... No, Manuel Noriega. Well, that's his likeness. I'm not, a, I'm not stupid. Okay. But that's a like that's an effigy of Manuel Noriega. You'll notice that this is a dangerous look Ooh. at the drug war of the time. Uh, yeah, no, I... And my suspicion is that George Bush Sr. is behind the predator myth that we know today. So, 
Are you, are you saying that George Bush Sr. was involved with sp alien I'm spacecraft? That I'm just asking questions. <laughs> Okay. Is it okay to ask questions? Well, yeah, you're coming to Game Informer. Uh, you came back to Minneapolis, where you're formerly a governor, and uh, are asking us for for information about uh, well, I George Bush that, Sr. And I his... know that sometimes, sometimes when there's a Game Informer, there are uh, retaliatory tactics taken out against them. Oh, yeah, And absolutely. I want to grant you immunity if you want to inform on what you know about the game. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ventura. Yep. You go by Mr. Ventura now? I'm govern I'm acting Governor Ventura. <laughs> okay. Um This is gonna be a, a problem, I think. I don't know how many days on set were you throwing grenades <laughs> at a at a stone wall? Do you well, this was a well I think this was just I don't that was Arnold. That's Arnold's style. You know a lot of governors <laughs> a lot of governors came out of this movie or were supposed to. Some of the deaths it we it was some some of some politicians who were part of the machine go through Harvard. They go through the traditional uh, okay. Ivy League path of Yale. But those of us who were iconoclasts, this was our boot camp. Oh, okay. This was the future truth telling governors association. And unfortunately Arnold and I are the only ones who survived and were able to be elected. So Governor Weathers didn't make it through completely. He was supposed to be the governor of Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee? I didn't even you know. notice you didn't see any truth telling come out, out of there. I didn't Tennessee a thing. Uh, I don't know what to do at this point. If you have any sort of inside, you know, yeah, you were there, so you can you can tell us what Bobby to do. The brain heat, and I don't know if I can handle a pun of that power. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I I I, should, I can rein it in, but I mean, more importantly, did you talk with Arnold at all about his grenade wall? I don't talk with Arnold. I practice combat. Have you ever been in physical combat <laughs> with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yep. Uh, I mean, no. Do you think you could get me in touch with him at all? Do you think he'd come to the office? Well, we, we practiced. This was a dojo, in a, in a sense, before the Predator pro program went rogue. The idea was that we were going to be the next generations of fighters to defeat the Soviets as governors. So, we were to be a legion of Jedi. An anti-Spetsnaz <laughs> governor alliance? Is that yeah, what you're... More or less. I can't give you the full confirm. Okay. But what I'm able to divulge is, yes, it was a program, and we would spar, and we would we would practice what we would do when there was an objectionable bill that would come before us on the desk, and the kind of counter counter terrorism actions that would take place. So there's would, a hut. We can use the bathroom if you want. This is. Yep, there's a facility. I'm looking for the bathroom. It's up, up, down, piss down, up, down, <laughs> up. Yeah. Down, up, down, piss. So you said you have to hit up, up, down, piss, and you have to piss, start pissing as <laughs> Hold on, I'm working. So did you all just... go to the jungle in these pink jumpsuits? I'll just hold it. Uh, yep, what, what didn't translate here into the animation, and I do want to salute the animators. I think they did as good a job as they could with such harassment that they were facing from the CIA. Yep. But what happened was uh, I had a feather boa. You can't see it there. Hmm. So this is... I, I'm having a hard time distinguishing who this is. You're saying that there's a likeness of, of Schwarzenegger. Maybe it's you. I guess I died, and I, maybe I started playing Player 2 at this point. This could be you now. I, you know what? I think it is. I think this is the Luigi me. Congratulations, you're playing the B controller. This is... I'm I'm now Player 2. Now I ain't got time to be... <laughs> oh... Oh yeah, because that's well, that's the you name of your problem? audible. That's the you name have of a problem with the volume of my pun. That was the that was your uh, the name of your autobiography. Was it autobiography or was it just a biography? Oh, so you're calling attention to that when I have several autobiographies written from different points of view. Was are any of them your own or were they Republicans and Demopublicans? <laughs> I okay. think that's a major literary achievement. Can you tell me a little bit about the scorpions that you I encountered? I cannot tell on the... you a little bit. I can tell you an exhaustive amount. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go, How oh, much God. do you want to hear about scorpions? I mean, what what was your experience with scorpions? That's Arnold. He's there with his gun pointed at you. <laughs> I was more intel. I was on the I was on the ground, but I was in forward ops. You don't see me. I'm sweeping ahead of this. You may be... I'm a Navy SEAL. You may. I've already swept. This this area right here, he's just doing mop up. Uh, uh, Governor Ventura, you may have missed a bodybuilder. I'm a warrior. 
You may have missed this scorpion here, and also, <laughs> I have reason to believe that this is you underneath the rock, and that this is this is Governor Ventura throughout the entire game. Let's find out. Let's ask it questions. What's really happening? All right. Wait, you are playing. Yep, that's me. That's my that's my likeness. Okay, I'm now controlling the rock. Uh, I don't you see. You're, that's what the Illuminati wants. It's the cornerstone of the Freemasons, and it has you play in its game. I'm not going to play their game. I'm back to Schwarzenegger here. Um, no, nope, that's too late. That's clearly me. Here I am, sweeping it. Yep. It's a Happy Meal character. <laughs> it's just a McDonald's. It's a munchy McDonald's sandwich that we face down there in the jungle. <laughs> so what, what's the deal with you carrying a gun, but you mean, insisting on the punching? Deal? The deal is the free market. <laughs> What's the deal? I'm carrying a gun and I'm punching. Yeah, why are you why are you choosing <laughs> to punch when you when you have a gun in your hands? That's because I don't want people predicting. Have you ever read Sun Tzu's The Art of War? <laughs> Not personally, no, I, I haven't. Why, because you don't consider yourself a warrior. Let me tell you something, <laughs> Vince McMahon. When I, when Sun Tzu sat down and said, "I'm gonna write an autobiography," <laughs> I was there. And I said I had the same spirit. Sun Tzu said always surprise your enemy if he expects you to attack from the front. Attack from behind. If he so expects if you, you to see a gun, you expect me to use it. I'm not giving that to you. That's too easy. <laughs> yep, he just pushed you off just like the FBI derailed the investigation of Jim Garrison into what really happened in Dallas. Do the Predators have anything to do with what happened in Dallas, Governor Ventura? Well, yeah, I, I, that was what we were on to when they started calling us. And they, they swept us out of there and called it a blockbuster film and brought in the high-def cameras. Those were high-definition cameras? Those were high-definition cameras. They didn't... That technology has existed since the Cold War. They don't want you to know that. Why would they keep high-definition cameras a secret? I because mean, it was a military-grade project. <laughs> Why? Why don't you know about? Why don't you know about quantum drive helicopters? Yeah, Kyle. <sighs> I mean, because I'm, that's the sorry. that's the next generation. But I mean, you've already seen you've already seen it. What the what you're seeing in movies like Avatar is high level military grade. Oh, so that's a documentary orbits. as well. Avatar is a documentary as well. Most most documentaries turn out to be blockbusters if they don't like the message. Uh, You'll notice that this was the... They they also cut it out for script purposes because some of our adventures were frankly boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, jumping you guys were, around. There were a lot of underground tunnels. You guys were incredibly clumsy, too. I mean, if if this... I'm not clumsy. This is a recreation. Well, you're a ghost. I, I understand. Was only, this was in the 1980s. This was in 1986. How old were you in 1986? I was one years old. So you can Mr. so you can calm down, Kevin Nash. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was motion capture, and I only had two fuzzy balls. <laughs> and I had was two that fuzzy the ones balls they supplied? On my right over was... my testicles. <laughs> <laughs> but they were motion capture balls, and that's the only motion you're seeing is that I'm running forward, <laughs> and that my legs are in motion. Your upper body is stationary as yeah, you move. Yeah, you're getting some key energy that's coming through there. <laughs> but for the most part, it's simply thighs. <laughs> that, that was the name of your exercise, simply, VHS. Yep, simply thighs. <laughs> Oh god! Oh, that's uh, what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to ride on top of the New World Order and <laughs> use use their system to destroy itself. That's what I did when I tangled with Garrison Keeler. Wait, when was oh, this? Was that on the set? Was he also set to be a governor? No, Garrison Keeler. No, he's a he's an evil Jedi <laughs> <laughs> from Garrison Minnesota. Keeler is a Sith. He's a Sith Lord. I don't know if he's a Lord. I don't acknowledge their hereditary titles. <laughs> well, that's fair. I. You think it's fair I... that a cabal of oligarchs controls the free people of the world? I'm not buying it, Ric Flair. Jesse, Jesse, I, now, can I call what you Jesse? You're supposed to do here. Yep, that's it. You jump up and punch <laughs> on the level on the grass level that's above you. <laughs> As dangerous as it was during the, the, the drug wars of the 1980s, 
there was some amazing landscaping and statuary <laughs> that you would not believe. Noriega, B- Pablo Escobar. I, I, I know a lot of casual video game <laughs> fans would assume that this landscaping was completely false, a complete fallacy that any sort of platform could sus- be suspended and in midair like this. I just don't. Do you have any insight? To, can you tell what me? What you're not seeing here is it's three dimensional. Oh, okay. This is a side scrolling game, but let me tell you, when you're there on the ground, and I was there on the ground. The ground being the small patch of earth. I was a... on that patch right there, and I remember that ambush. They came for me. Where they, they just they ran in and they just that killed was themselves. That an assassination attempt that I faced. <laughs> that was Yokozuna at the Iron Sheik. <laughs> and I went on to fight them in combat in professional wrestling. After the Predator. Yep. Predator was my training. Professional wrestling was my war. So in this look at this documentary, I'm noticing a lack yep, of that predators. That was a common mistake. We lost it. You can walk through the, the mountain, essentially. Okay. The predator's there the whole time. He's invisible. He pushed me from behind. Didn't you, I see, think. Didn't you see the movie Predator? <laughs> What's wrong with you, soldier? Maybe... Are you are you working for them? Je- Governor Ventura, I'm starting to think that maybe I didn't see the movie Predator the way that you did. You're jumping off. You're, are, you're, are you throwing the match? We don't need warriors like you. That's it. You see, it's a simple. They're just steps. <laughs> They're steps of blue, dark ice marble. <laughs> like you would commonly see in any blue, dark ice marble <laughs> theme park. <laughs> oh, this was a this was a theme. Whoa! Tell me, there was a theme park in the middle of the jungles of Colombia? No, I didn't say it was in Colombia. No. Oh, okay. What is that thing? I said it was in Colombia. Well, so now these are amoebas <laughs> and like Colombia is a river valley. Metroids are floating around here, too. Yep, we got into what we're here is we're seeing the connection. There he is. You're getting a game over warning. No warning. I'd f- I feel like the time for warnings is past here. <laughs> nope, the game's over. You failed. <laughs> I think. See, that was something I objected to. Schwarzenegger, Predator. I think it should have been Ventura, Schwarzenegger, equal credit. And that would have been the full title of the, the movie? Well, he was a model. He wasn't really trained in combat. <laughs> He looked better. We, he would train me on beauty tips, and I would teach him how to slice a man's throat while he was <laughs> while he was singing a Sunday morning Christmas song to his five children. I could there's diff, I could I could teach you how how to poke a man's eyeballs out while he was eating strawberries. <laughs> I'm a pretty big fan of Pokemans, so I guess I'd be up for. For that at any given point. You're doing pretty good. This is that a lot of recruits can't handle the jumping on rock while the guy's running by. And we've, and we've established that the rock is you, right? So you're helping short This is like you mentoring me. Disguise as a rock earlier, but nope, that's me right there. <laughs> you know, I'm coming to think the whole thing was me the whole time. Well, I think we've seen I enough of this sit. game, Tim. You think you've seen enough? <laughs> You think you're going to censor it just as we break open what's really happening? I think we've lost a little bit of control on Governor Ventura here in the replay room. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to shut it down. We're shutting it down? Wait a minute. I'm ordering you to play another level. I'm a governor. Turn it off. Turn it off. Executive order interface 500 goal. Thanks, Governor. Thanks, item Kyle. Item punch, punch. Move the rock. There's the tree of life. 